What's up guys, Tina Did It here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the super simple Easter decor for you. I actually made this for my classroom, but it is a little early for Easter. Um, you guys know that I'm a teacher and I like to make my own decor sometimes for my classroom. And the kids love it when they see decor that they haven't seen at the store before. So if you wanna see how I made this one, keep on watching. Before I start, I want to remind you to join my Facebook group called Tina Did It and then the Pink Hearts. Um, it's super fun over there. We're all friendly. We're like family. So definitely check that out and join my group and um, you'll get to see other ideas and recreations there. So it's a good idea to check it out and join. And don't forget to also follow me on Instagram, tina.did.it, just like you see it here. So make sure to follow me there and you can message me anytime. I love to hear from you. But let's get on with the video. I'm going to start off with this egg from Dollar Tree. I'm going to take the tag and the string off. For going to use our own string later on. So I'm going to cut that off so that way I can work with it. Um, easy to work with. So there's an option. You can use the back or you can sand the front and um, and use that. But I just decided to take the easy way out. So <laughs> I took my Mod Podge and um, I poured that all over the egg and I spread it on the egg because later on we're going to be adding our fabric. And if you haven't noticed, you guys, my paint organizer is right back there. I told you you're probably going to see it in my future videos. <laughs> this is how I organize my paint all the time now um, and Mod Podge bottles and everything. So um, I, I'll put the link down below to that. If you haven't seen that yet, you definitely want to check that out. So basically here I am just spreading all the Mod Podge on the egg and then I'm going to go in with my fabric and lay it down. The reason why I like to do my own signs, I still buy things from Dollar Tree to decorate the classroom and my home because they still have good things. But sometimes I like to mix colors, different styles. So this is why I take a sign and I might change something to it to make it fit my style. And you guys know I've been in love with um, with plaid lately with this style. So. Yeah, I've used it a lot of my pre my previous videos, <laughs> so you guys are aware. But um, so yeah, so I lay down the fabric and I let it dry, and then now I'm going in with Mod Podge again for um, and spread it out on top of the fabric, and I'm also going to wrap around the the fabric around the edges, the sides. So same thing with Mod Podge. Once that's dry, I'm going to go in with scissors and then poke that hole back up there so we can put our twine through or a string. And then um, I also got this rabbit from Dollar Tree. By the way, everything here is from Dollar Tree, even the fabric. And I'm taking off the staples from the top, from the back. And I'm also going to take off the, the handle, the twine up there. That's what I'm going to use on the egg. You can use your own twine, you can use your own ribbon if, you, if you'd if you like, but I'm just going to use the same string here from the rabbit and just put it on the egg instead. I'd like to mention to you guys, if you like videos that are straight on point, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video. And my next video is probably going to be a ribbon organizer, so you don't want to miss out on that one. So make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell button so you're notified when I upload that video. So I took off the staples from the, the, the back of the carrots and the rabbit, but before I do anything with those, I'm going to go in with the string and tie it twice on the, the egg, so that way we have something to hang our egg with. Now I'm going to take my rabbit, but um, I would like to mention that I did use hot glue in the beginning. But after I finished this project, I accidentally dropped the egg and the rabbit fell off. So I went in the second time with tacky glue. It's like a brown bottle from um, Dollar Tree, tacky glue. And um, now it stays on perfectly, like it does not fall off at all. So I recommend tacky glue for this project more than hot glue. Just in case you don't know what tacky glue looks like, it's this brown bottle and you can also find it at Dollar Tree. So once you're done with that, you're going to set that aside and then now you're going to get your carrots. You have two options. You can use the back and it's already ready for you to paint or you can use the front, 
but if you do end up using the front like I did you're going to have to sand it down a little bit because there's some glitter so um, so I went ahead and did that and now I'm going to go in with my white paint and I'm only going to paint the bottom part I'm not going to go into the green um, part of the carrot so make sure you get the sides as well and I went in with two coats with the white and I'm going to go in with green for the side of the green but I like I said I'm not painting the green part I'm just painting the side of it and here how here's how it looks and I didn't I don't have a Cricut machine you guys <laughs> I don't have anything like that so um what I did is that I went with stickers and my stickers were green so I went in with a sharper sharpie or permanent marker and um, colored it brown or you guys can do any color you can do it black if you want to but I did sand my carrot down a little bit and then I stuck on the stickers and they're still holding up but here is how it looks you guys make sure to like share and subscribe it's just a quick easy project for my classroom and thanks for watching let me know what you guys think see y'all next time bye